When I was a kid, the past wrote checks for the future that reality couldn't cash. I never got a flying car, let alone a jetpack. And Ronald told me a picture book he had promised the 2020 Olympics would be on the moon. We didn't even have an Olympics in 2020, let alone a moon colony to hold it on. Ronald's picture book isn't the only crazy technology forecast that hasn't come through. Only five years ago, Morgan Stanley analysts made a middle of the road prediction that by 2020, a million, one million Aussie homes would have a battery. Well, it's 2021 and only 110,000 Aussie homes have a battery. I know that's a rolled gold fact because I got it from the Bible of Aussie solar number crunchers, Warwick Johnston at Sunwiz. Cheers, Warwick. So when will batteries go mainstream in Australia? Here's my best guess. If we look at the classic technology adoption curve and consider that in 2021, about 10% of solar buyers choose a battery too, we're getting towards the edge of the early adopters phase of the market. For the battery market to really take off, it has to cross the chasm between early adopters and the early majority, as described in Geoffrey Moore's classic 1991 book, Crossing the Chasm. The chasm is the obstacle between early adopters and the pragmatists in pain. To cross the chasm, the pain of the pragmatists must outweigh the fairly big cost of getting a battery. So two things have to happen. One, home battery packs have to continue to fall in price. Secondly, the pain of peak evening electricity prices has to get worse. And both these things are happening. My best guess is that we'll cross the chasm in about three years. But take what I say with a pinch of salt, as I'm a hopeless optimist. 10 years ago, I told my eldest daughter she would never need to learn to drive, as we'd have robo-taxis by the time she was 16. She